Could your favorite place to eat, that place you just love to go to, be brimming with potentially dangerous bacteria? Well, we conducted our very own restaurant investigation to find out the dirty truth. Let's face it, if you're going to eat out in a public place, it's impossible to avoid all germs. But what if you could know where at the table germs are more likely to set up shop? Our staff swapped different commonly used items on a typical restaurant table to learn more. We tested utensils, condiments, the menu, even the table itself to find out exactly where are the dirtiest spots in the diner. And more importantly, what can we do to avoid them? So we swabbed everything, utensils, cups, tabletops, condiments, even the salt and pepper shakers, and sent those swabs off to ABC Labs. You all ready for the dirty truth? Yeah. The dirtiest thing at the restaurant was the menus. Yeah. Acinito bacteria was on those menus, and we've talked about this on the show before. Yeah. Those menus rarely get cleaned and they're sticky and they often have a substrate on them that bacteria love. To stick to, it's like a sticky pad. It is. And everyone is touching it, not just the employees, but the patrons too. Everybody is touching that menu. You know it's bad when you're oh. having to peel the menu. Well, it's bad that when you Did put you? your hand down on the menu and you lift it up and it's, <laughs> and it's still stuck to your hand. And, and look, most, most bacteria that you'll find are no big deal, but those menus, they also carry the viruses. Someone had a cold before you, ah choo, what do they do? You're just like, ah choo! You know, next thing you know, I want the lo mein. Um, <laughs> it's, it just doesn't take a whole lot. So be aware of the menu, and we, hey, we always say, wash your hands before you eat. Well, we're saying now, maybe you wash your hands after you've ordered. Right. And the other place we found some issues, ketchup lids. Oh, I've thought about that always. Because what do you do? Do you eat the ketchup or do you pass when the, when the lid is crusty? Because again, the substrate sugar, sugars and ketchup, bacteria love to thrive on that. Do you, do you still go with it? If the ketchup lid were crusty, with, uh, I wouldn't even touch it. But actually, I literally take my napkin and pop it open. Mm -hmm. I don't touch it because in the ketchup itself should be okay. I love how you say inside is okay. You know, a lot of restaurants just refill those ketchup <laughs> bottles, and that ketchup <laughs> bottle's been there for a year, oh. and then they go fill it with the, you know, the big, the big supply. Oh, I know. So, hey, be aware of that. You know, the good news is a lot of the things that we looked at, it was just the most common bacteria, the staph, staphylococcus, right? That's on all of our skin. The other thing, though, I found interesting was Utensils. Yes. The issue with the utensils, especially at buffets, is the minute you put your utensil on the tabletop. I never do that. Yeah, keep it on the napkin. No, no, yeah, yeah. But right. so, so you're like, smart. But do yeah. you? I mean, you're going through. Think about it when you're going through a buffet, or you sit down. And, you know, you just reflexively you're picking up utensils, placing them on tabletops. Well, you and know, they're picking up. I think about the, the the utensils that are in the bucket, right? And you kind of like grab, oh, you like touch 12 and pick see? out one. And see, there's or something. Or the coffee stir. Oh, I know. And that's why there's something to the fact that my grandma always brought her own Tongs. disposable oh, utensils to every restaurant. <laughs> she was you know, our original germaphobe of the family, and I have her to thank for I my I go everywhere with hand sanitizer. My kids, like, I'm like, <laughs> hands out there. Yep. Like, okay, mom, like, <laughs> I personally don't get stressed out about this stuff because our immune systems for most of these things should do just fine. My issue with the utensils container is only when the part of the utensil, for instance, the pitchfork part, is yes. sticking up. Right. And so people go in and they're grabbing the fork on the wrong side. And so all it takes is one dude who just went to the Ooh, restroom. Right, no, no, literally, there's fecal, we found some fecal matter. I'm eating at home only from now on. <laughs> Everybody you. learn to cook at home. <laughs> All the restaurants are like, how come we have no customers today? <laughs> no, I, the irony of it is, I, it hasn't changed my behavior, but I do think you can be smart, be aware.